Business is booming for wedding planners in Bali as more and more couples head overseas for their special day. Experts say getting hitched on the holiday island costs about half of what it does in Australia, but there are pitfalls to look out for. On top of a cliff face with the Indian Ocean as their backdrop, Paul Christian and Tiffany Chen say, I do. More, 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 more. The bride and groom split their time between Perth and Singapore, so getting hitched halfway between seemed the obvious choice. This picturesque setting 20 minutes south of Bali Airport also made sense, and so did the price tag, $24,000 for the ceremony, catering for 39 guests and four hotel rooms for two nights. It gives you a lot of different bits and pieces that include from the start and there's not a lot of hidden costs that we've come up against. But Bali weddings can get much cheaper. Tristan Moy has planned some for as little as $2,000. She says the average cost for 50 guests is $18,000, half that of Australia. Here you're going to get a beautiful venue on the beach, you're going to get a DJ, you're going to get fireworks. It's really bang for your buck. For marriages to be recognised down under, they have to be done legally here as well. That means marrying under one of five religions and, of course, meeting Australian requirements like being over 18 years old. Paul and Tiffany recommend inspecting locations first and, because of the language barrier, requesting email confirmation for everything. The culture is a little bit slower to respond than what we might be used to in Australia, so I would recommend a little bit of patience. Renee Henry, Nine News.